you, you're flexing both hamstrings at the same time. That means both hips are doing the like one exact hip same thing. Yeah, the, 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 both hips are doing exact same thing. Normally, there's opposition. You know, we have contralateral reciprocation when we're running. Bar you go area. from one side to the other. You go from column to column, and that just doesn't match up with any of that. So, regardless so of like my too. feelings or beliefs for it, um, I can just simply say I can see for sure that they don't match up at least from my vantage point. Mm -hmm. Think about this too. You're pushing. When you're coming off the ground, yeah, an auto curl is pulling. You, mm. You're using the muscle two different ways. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you're pushing and releasing where you're pulling and never releasing. Yeah. So it sends a mixed signal to the mm. brain. Now, how much of it, like I said, the, the micro dose in part and things like that and how much of it can we add and stuff like that. Man, I, I don't know. I mean, we still going to ride in cars. We still going to sit in chairs. We still going to wear bad shoes, you know? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Now, yeah. can we figure out ways to incorporate some of these things? I think that's maybe where uh, we don't – we just don't know. Like, could you some, do a staggered, the, staggered stance deadlift? Could you do a staggered stance – Nordic, could you do an isometric in a Nordic and yeah. say, hey, I think in SEMA, like this angle right here, I think this is going to help if we can hang out there and if we can corner while you're still in this Nordic position with your feet staggered. I mean, there's all kinds of things that we can start to come up with. Yeah, I could put you in that split stance that we I showed you out there, and mm -hmm. we could get into the split stance, and you could kind of drop that chest down, set your bow, and when you feel a hamstring turn on, we could hold a plate to the chest and rep that bow just a micro movement of it's Actually, like it's little fractals. Yeah, you did it before. It's little fractals of the movement pattern. A lot of this stuff too that we're doing is, is is bringing that kinesthetic awareness up to where uh, you'll hear people say like uh, they they got a weak glute or uh, they 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 not like what happened with um with Andrew like he was saying man I I can't find the glute in this exercise. Once he found it, he was good. Mm -hmm. He found a way to get it and wake it up or whatever. Same thing when we train in the hamstring because we could set the bow, get into the drop in, load that column, stick that butt back, drop the chest a little bit, get the hamstring to turn on. Once it's turned on, if we got a forty five pound plate to the chest and we in some kind of single leg instead of doing a deadlift with it. It, we could just sit there and rep that bow shape up to where the inside ankle bone's going high as the butt's going down and the knee's going out, but the hamstring's real active in the position. Power Project family, how's it going? I want to talk to you guys about the best gym fits in the game. You need to head over to Viore. People don't know how to spell, say it. People don't know how to spell it. V-U-O-R-I. But let me tell you something about Viore. They have great clothes that you can wear outside the gym, weddings, lunches, dates and then they have <laughs> they have great pieces of equipment you can wear in the gym that make you look good while you're lifting because i know there's still a lot of y'all who are still rocking and one shorts and <laughs> although yeah. i have nothing against and one it gets me every time i have nothing against and one shorts yeah honestly it looks horrible so andrew <laughs> please tell the people how to step up their damn clothing game <laughs> for real, you guys gotta step up head over to viori.com slash power project that's v-u-o-r-i.com slash power project to receive 20 percent off your order uh no code needed you guys will see a uh, discount will be applied at checkout banner across the top uh links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes and then you could do it in the corner too like the, the corner is the release. It's yeah. when the foot comes off the ground, and then you're going to be loading when you land onto the other side. So as that that hamstring is accepting that load, it's 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 happening. It's catching everything, especially in the dig phase. You know what I'm saying? Now, you'll see a lot of guys in the track world, when do they tear their hamstring? On the back end of the race. Whenever they get more mm. upright mm. and they're trying to do high knees and they're trying to pull and stuff like that is when you see the pull because that ain't how we're supposed to run. Mm. Like you look at somebody like you, even Tyreek Hill is a good example of looking at somebody run from the front and the back. I think his training mixes the signals to the brain so the body wants to protect itself just like you had the scap injury and it wants to close up. Yeah. Same thing with the hamstring or whatever. If you start giving it some mixed signals, it's going to feel like the environment's not right. But when you saw – they got a picture of Randy Marsh running – in his butt's back, his he, he's kind of you know he's in that it looks like a drop in from the side or whatever, but it it's like it's there you go Ty you got Tyreek right there, he's amazing to watch. Dude. See how he sets a bow. <laughs> 
he's that's going not back an and forth curl. so much. That's crazy. Do you see how much like he did the um shit. That's sports science, huh? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Watch how back and forth he goes from side to side. It's pretty See, crazy. there's the extension, right? We know that there's triple extension involved. But then when he when he runs, when they show him from the front and the back, there's the bow. Yeah. That's dope. That's but, but that's not that's not a triple extension exercise. There's yeah. not an exercise that matches that. I have a quick question, and I don't want us to spend too much time on this. It's it's, some, it's somewhat different. Do you guys work with um? Do you guys work with fighters or grapplers? We have some that come in. You have some that come so in. So what I do is is I don't get anything specific. I train you a certain way, no matter who you are. Mm-hmm. So an NFL lineman, a running back, and stuff like that, a linebacker. I'll use the same. I'll do everything the same. The guy that remember we do everything till failure, right? Mm-hmm. So when we when we attack and Whatever, whatever exercise that it is, if I take you to failure and I'm gonna get that strength component, it don't matter what position you play, because if you're on a tennis court, if you're on a football field, if you're on the golf course or wherever you at, the foot and ankle behaves the same way. The hip is supposed to behave the same way. The knee is supposed to behave the same way. Mm-hmm. Back chain dominant applies to everything. Yeah. Everything. That's not a front that now wrestling and they'll use their hips a lot of times and they'll yeah. thrust and shit like that. But it's it's, you know, technique wise and things like that is where the coach comes in. Mm. Right. Like okay. it don't I, it's not for me to say, hey, man, you need to grapple and you need to do this this way. It's for me to make sure that when you walk down the street, your body performs right and let that manifest itself into the wrestling stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.